Welcome! Your War Chief is back with another epic video! Hi, my name's PB, but you lovely people are more than welcome to call me Peeps. Oh boy. With Shadowlands right around the corner, right now is the perfect time to look back on BFA and all the bullshit that we will not miss. I know, right? It's hard to narrow it down, but did what I could. So I won't keep you long. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to throw that shit in the trash. So let's get into it right now. Listen, you knew it, I knew it, everybody on this planet knew it, that Azerite and Azerite gear would be on this list and number one. Are we surprising anybody? No. I mean, Azerite and the RNG Azerite gear system honestly holds most of the blame for how bad BFA was. BFA wasn't slotted to be the best expansion, let's be real here for 6 seconds, but it brought an average, okay expansion to the shitter. It was incredibly long and difficult to grind. Add the fact that the gear was an RNG nightmare. You could literally farm the gear for ages and never get the stats you actually need. Get this, they actually thought the system was so bad that they changed it not once, not twice, but three times. Every patch brought a change to the system because it was so bad. And it was a short expansion, I mean, and then to farm the crap. You know what? It deserves its own section. I'm stupid. That was just plain stupid. It's to a point where I would prefer to go back to Pandaria and do the mandatory like 20 dailies every day than deal with island expeditions. The fact that it was nearly mandatory, especially in catch up mode, there's no rewards. There's no joy out of it. Even farming a mount out of that is just bullshit. What were they thinking? Taliesin and Evatel said it best when they said the Horde had the worst experience in Battle for Azeroth. My naive little self thought it was story. No. Dizar lore. Lore speaking, it was a beautiful city that made sense with its grandiose and the queen sitting under the seal. But what a disaster! Blizzard held back flying a year, a year and a half, and you had to travel to Zara Lore. Once I finally got off my rear and leveled a horde character, I got it. I understood. Boralus wasn't great, but man oh man. I get it. Guys, you couldn't even keep everything you needed on the same tier. You had to take flight paths, you had to run around. What a disaster. Even when flying came, and I finally got it, it still was absolutely unnecessarily large to get to everything you needed. I mean, why couldn't they have the horde stuff right on the dock? And then maybe the emissary up top? And the queen in her throne room. I mean, it was so poorly thought out. It was crap. It was just crap. It was all crap. It was a beautiful crap, but it was a crap. Fuck the Zarlor. If you are anything like me, you will fly all over your map twice if you have to. In your respective faction. Because going over the pond to the other is that much of a pain in the ass. From shitty flight paths to just poor zoning to this was not set up correctly to do world quests across the pond and then to make them required for champions of Azeroth. You know what Magni? No, you're not getting your emissary today. Too bad. And probably not next week either. This is a short little one but really Tyrant's no call no show to the Alliance? Without a word, without a quest line, nothing. You're telling me you couldn't give us a little something to say, hey, screw you guys, I'm going home. Was I hard? Like, really. 
this is the equivalent of you ending your shift, the guy who's coming to replace you doesn't show up, and your boss just looks at you and goes, oh well, and they're still employed. I'm not asking for much here, but even something to say that she left angrily, that she ran through the door, or they had a little argument, something, something. All we actually got is Anduin, the poor little sap, keeps sending letters, and they keep coming back unopened. Alright, now I know this is a loaded question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. What parts won't you be missing from Battle for Azeroth? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, give me a big old thumbs up. If you didn't, be honest with me. That's what I appreciate the most. I love the feedback. Actually, bonus points, if you didn't like the video, leave me a comment, tell me why. We can fix it. If you like Warcraft, you like nerdy stuff, you like me, hit that subscribe button. You know there's more stuff coming. And while you're down there, ring that bell. That way you won't miss it when it does go live. And that does include my live streams, now on Wednesdays, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, right here, right on this channel where it's chatting in Warcraft. That's it. It's just like being in Discord, chatting in Warcraft. I'm also not a hard lady to get a hold of. All of my socials are in the description box down below, including my Twitch if that's something you're interested in. Again, super de duper easy to find. And actually, speaking about live streams, I'm going to leave my last week's live stream up here. We went over all kinds of stuff about Covenants and Shadowlands. Super fun time. If that's something that interests you, check it out. All right. Well, I love you all very much, and I can't wait to see you again on the next one. Bye. I mean, how? How could you make something so beautiful head to toe, but so damn bad? Fuck Desire Lore.